Now, why is it that yawning is so infectious? A group of researchers have been looking into what happens in our brains to trigger that response and how it might teach us more about other conditions like autism and Tourette's syndrome. Sophia Batitza explains. You are yawning now, aren't you? We all know it's contagious, even if you're not tired. A new study says that yawning is triggered by an automatic response in the part of the brain responsible for motor function. But why we do it, especially when others do it, isn't really understood. Researchers asked volunteers to watch other people yawn. They found that our ability to resist yawning, especially when other people around us do, is limited. <laughs> and the urge to yawn was increased when people were told they couldn't. They also discovered that when using electrical stimulation, they were able to increase people's desire to yawn. This is important because understanding more about it could help treat other conditions like Tourette's, which involve the same area of the brain.